Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest G's, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video where it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk um, as it be. If today now the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for now massive support to this channel. I say may God bless all of you now in Jesus name. Amen. I get video away I want to present to Una this very moment. And I go to follow now. They watch the video. After we don't watch them together, make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. Children are killed. Women are killed. Children are born. Children are born. We demand for justice. We demand for justice. We demand for peace. We demand for peace. We demand for peace. We demand for peace. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, members of the spiritual operatives, our four comrades, the activists here present, members of the crew, all other participants who are right here with us for us to deliver a message to the President Muhammadu Buhari, not to the representative that has been sent to Sokoto, Kano and Katsina. When they said they don't like you, we will come out in mass and we said we need you. We voted for you, not because we want you to be the President, but because of the promises you have made to provide good governance, to provide security, to provide safety, to improve collaboration and partnership among all the reasons, to ensure that we have good um, and good governance, equity, justice, and fairness. But otherwise, what we are witnessing is something different. We are disappointed with you, Mr. President, the President of the Republic of Nigeria, Mala Muhammad Buhari. We are disappointed with you, and we are making our position, we are repeating ourselves, that we are disappointed. People are being killed every now and then, every now and then in the day, in the, in the night, in the evening. Women are being raped. Children are being killed. We are tired of what is happening. We are tired of what is happening. President Muhammad Buhari, we didn't vote Adesina, we didn't vote Garbashiru. We voted for you come out and address us. We are disappointed with you. We are not happy the way you are governing this country. Nowhere is safe. Nowhere is safe. We have planted, we wasted money, energy and resources during the, during the rainy season. Bandits and criminals. Bandits and criminals are preventing us from cultivating, harvesting what we have cultivated. Agricultural products are becoming so expensive. People are being murdered in their houses. People are being murdered on Kaduna Abuja roads and all the roads in northern Nigeria. People are being assassinated and being killed in southeast, southwest, and south south. We are tired. We are tired. We are not happy. We are sending this message to you and we are telling you that we are tired. We commend the effort of the few security personnel that you have, even though we know they are not enough. We are tired of the corrupt practices in your government. That is one of the reasons why we cannot be secured. We are tired. All the locations of the bandits are is known. They are not at the hideout. If you don't know where they are, we know where they are. If you don't know where they are, we know where they are. And we know that you know where they are. 
force. There is no local government in Nigeria that does not have a divisional police officer. There is no local government in Nigeria that does not doesn't have uh, LSO, that is a local security officer representing the DGSS. Well, we you believe, say? we believe that you know where they are. Whenever there is anybody who commits an offense or is reported to the LSO or is reported to the divisional officer, men and officers go to wherever he or she is and bring them to the division and bring them to the table and charge them. So why can't you also bring the bandits to the table and charge them? Your government is promoting an ethnic, ethnic crisis because we have seen that we know that it is not all 100% of Fulanis that are bandits. But there are Mbanga and others who are killing innocent Fulanis. So the killing is turning to something else. Therefore, we are saying no. We are saying enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Please wake up from your slumber. We know you travel to Lagos when our, when our relatives being killed and you send a representative. When you want us to elect you, when you need your, our votes, when you need our support, have you sent a representative? You went to our houses. You cry and wait for Nigerians. Does that mean that you deceive us? Does that mean that you deceive us? We have records of your words where you ask us to vote and wait for our vote to be counted and escort our vote to the to the coalition center and ensure that our what we voted is what is announced. So we have done all that for you to be to become the president. But what we are witnessing now, we are witnessing a disappointment. We are disappointed with you, Madam Muhammad Wari, wake up from your slumber and change the strategy. Oh, sorry. Let me ask a question. All right, well, Doctor, when you said you know where they are, yes. What do you mean? Yeah. The northern community know where bandits are. Absolutely. They are within us. 99.9 percent .9 or even 115 percent if you have that the bandits are nigerians we have made mention very clear that 100 percent or close by of the who are importing uh, arms they are foreigners but those who are moving the arms are nigerians those who are transporting the arms are nigerians those who are trading the arms are nigerians we have our evidences we have our exhibits and the exhibit come from the police, it come from the DSS, it come from the Nigerian army. Those who were apprehended, they have made it very clear. Those who were apprehended, 99.9% .9 of them were foreigners. Those who were apprehended moving the arms, they are Nigerians. Those culprits, the bandits, they are Nigerians. They, we have so many exhibits, they have spoken to Nigerians, they have told everybody that they are Nigeria and they are in Nigeria. And wherever they are, they conduct attack within the communities, within reach, where we know them, they know us. They are not strangers. We argue with the government as they proclaim that they are foreigners. They are not foreigners. Unless if you are bringing foreigners to mix within them. But we know they are Nigerians and they are citizens of Nigeria. And we believe that you know where they are. Muhammad Wari cannot tell me himself that he don't know where bandits are. If you don't know where they are, when the children of Pankara was kidnapped in the school, how do you get them? If you don't know where they are, when the children of Jangebe was kidnapped, how do you get them? If you don't know where they are, when Amy of Ungudu was kidnapped, how do you reach out to them? If you don't know where they are, when all other killings of distinguished personalities was done, how do you trace them? How do you how do you get them out? So we believe that Muhammad President Muhammad Buhari himself and all his team members from Northern Nigeria, they all know, all our legislators who are voting seat at the National Assembly and the senators, the so-called distinguished senators, they all know where these criminals are. We have never seen any legislator. I challenge all of them. If there is one person that ever went back to his community for a dialogue or for a community sensitization or to discuss at the community level the way forward to addressing the security issue. When you complain that you imputed huge amount of money, no result. We have so many unemployed youth. Engage them. They have the agility. They have the ability. They have the capability. They have the, 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 the fitness to do the job. 
If you can engage the party by polling units. If in a political world you have 10 polling units, you will have 400. If in a local government you have 10 political ones, you have you have 4,000. So if you can engage 4,000 in 500 local government out of 774 local government, we will, we will be able to, you can distribute them among the military, you can distribute them among the Nigerian police, you can distribute them among the DSS, the Air Force, the Army, and so on and so forth, so that our region and our country will be secure. We know you don't have enough personnel. Enough personnel. I challenge the Inspector General of Police, whenever there an election, you will normally use the word we mobilize. We mobilize. Everybody can understand that we mobilize. We pick some from Adama, from Enu, from Sokoto, from other places to put them where you want them to be. So if you really have personnel, you are not going to do a mobilization, but rather you give instructions to the police commissioner at the state or the director assessment at the state. People are dying. Baba Buhari. Let me refresh you. We are standing here as children. As the father, we were supposed to be a When we voted in the end, we were going to promise to secure our lives. But it seems we were just a time. Women had been raped on daily basis. Children had been killed. Farms had been raised by fire. All the security operatives were standing here to stop us from telling the bitter truth. Why don't we send them to where our people are free? What is it we have against the English? This is my justification to be bad at the Where did we go with? What wrong have we done to you? To deserve this neglect, to deserve this harassment, to deserve this force, using force on us to keep quiet. But that you do, we are standing. And we are telling you to your face that enough is enough. We are telling you today. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Baba, we are telling you to your face today. We are demanding, not begging, not asking. It's our right. Secure the north. Secure the north. Secure the north. Enough of the bloodshed. Enough of the bloodshed. Enough of the bloodshed. Enough of the bloodshed. Our people are dying. Our people are dying. Today, Baba, Today, Baba, we are telling you to your face, Baba, with no fear of what you can do to us. We are here not to fight, not to cause you damage, not to do anything, Baba, but to tell you the bitter truth. Because we stood on you. We fought to put you in that office. So today we are out to tell you the bitter truth. Baba, you have failed us. Baba, we believed in you because you promised us so many ways. Yet, mother has stood behind us and has been all the ways to see you. Now, the town is ready for this end. In your house, they will go to your house. They will pick you like a chicken, like a goat, and they will take you to the beach. They will rape you. They will kill you. They will molest you. They will do all kinds of activities. Thank you, good luck, Jonathan.
Tomorrow, if you come out, we will vote you. Baba, you are a fair one. Baba, the air cabas are the move. Baba, the Pacaca, I tell you about. Baba, I tell you about the Anna Manaka. Baba, I tell you about the Anna Casimu. Baba, I tell you about the Anna Telmudazi Baba. Baba, I tell you about the Anna Manatu. Baba, I have said that you can make a river. Baba, I have said that you can make a river. Baba, back at the kitchen. Baba, back at the Baba, Mumu Kazaka, Baba, Mumu Kadamu de Kay. Baba, Mumu Kadamu de Kay. Baba, Katu Temu. Baba, Katu Temu.